I had a hard time getting it published. I um, first I you know worked with a professional editor to get it to uh, something that she and I both agreed was suitable for publication. Um, and then uh, a classmate of mine from Harvard said he wanted to read it. I got him to read it, and um, and he had a number of edits that were. Actually, I thought great edits, and so I stopped again and, and re-edited again based on um, his help. That was a friend of mine named David Thomas, and um, I contacted a number of agents, and what I heard from agents was that um, uh, they were looking for, for underrepresented voices. Um, old white men are not underrepresented voices. They're overrepresented voices, so uh, I did not have much luck with, with uh going the traditional route through agents. Um, so David said that he knew uh, Peter Olson at Arbitrary Press, and Peter had actually been at Harvard, I guess, uh, in the class behind us. And so, you know, I actually got it published through sort of an old boy network. I mean, I had a friend from Harvard introduce me to Peter. Um, Peter said he'd want to edit it as well if he was going to publish it. And I said, fine. And so I went through another round of, um, of editorial comments with him um, and uh, Arbitrary Press published it. 